Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. This is Esfar, your host, and welcome to, to another episode of Clash Royale. Um, as you can see, uh, the season's reset. I kind of took a break from ladder. I've been doing a lot of 2v2, just kind of messing around with a lot of decks, and I've been playing a lot of challenges, just playing a new variety of decks, because when there's another big ch uh, challenge that comes out, like the CCGS, I want to be able to win it again, and be able to be able to advance even further in the tournament so that I can represent you guys. Um, so I've been having a lot of requests on people wanting to me to play um, a minor deck and so let me just find out where I saved it and so this is a variation of a poison minor control deck that I mixed in with the battle ram um, deck that I use in the CCGS now this is a combination of both this is something that I kind of kind of you know, thought would work well and if you don't have the electric wizard there's not a lot of good substitutes because the, the electric wizard um, stops inferno dragons and stops inferno towers and that's why he's really key but if you do not have him you could always replace him with um, executioner but if you replace him with the executioner make sure you replace your air arrows with tornado uh, because tornado executioner is really good um, you could keep the arrows if you're not very good or if you don't feel comfortable with tornado but if you don't have a uh, if you don't have the um, elect electric wizard you could either use the um, ice ice wizard or executioner um, if you don't have the bandit you can always replace the bandit with knight knights are really, it's not it doesn't do the same effect because knight doesn't have the dash but it's the same it looks the car so you could still put knight um, battle ram at the bridge with bats behind it and the knight will help the battle ram get to the tower uh, so this is a really good deck especially with the minor because you could play a, a, a fast minor cycle deck or you could play a huge counter push with the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. is really good because if you fight people with, with Golems, if you fight people with the P.E.K.K.A., if you fight people with Mega Knight, the, the P.E.K.K.A. is really good to play on your side of the map so that you have the support of the tower uh, to be able to just stop the push and be able to do a counter push with um, with the Minor Bataram, you know, Bandit. It's, it's just a really, it works really well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys some replays and then I'll be finishing this uh, challenge. Uh, first of all, I just want to do a shout out to my old clan, uh, Born to Royale. I'm going to definitely come visit you guys soon. Uh, I miss you. I miss you all. And I appreciate all the support. If you guys are looking for a clan, uh, Bone to Royale is a really, really good competitive clan. Uh, Sandstorm USA 2 uh, is also, as you can see, as, as you guys know, Sandstorm is a really good clan. They have a bunch of branches, and they have a bunch of clans that people could join. Uh, they're a competitive gaming. I'm, uh, I like, I like being with them. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to be able to help help myself grow they're gonna help me grow and be able to get that 5,000 trophies that I'm trying to get to so really good group of guys to play with um, you know just wanted to thank them for letting me join the clan and be part of the clan I've, I've been having a great time been doing a lot of 2v2 drafts with them and just having fun and getting new tips and tricks from them and having them help me so that I can uh, keep growing uh, one thing that I do want to talk about is if you guys are getting frustrated at the game I know this is you know if you're like me I'm very competitive and I could get extremely mad and irritated if I lose um, I mean right before the season ended I was at 4700 trophies I was trying to push it to 49 I lost like 400 trophies that I had to regain so I was at 4300 like I'm not gonna end at 4300 so I was able to gain my trophies back but it could be very frustrating when you go on tilts because it seems like it just doesn't matter how long you wait you wait like a whole day and then you keep playing you just keep losing until you lose like 10 matches and you start winning again um, just remember that it's just a, it's just a game for fun if you just play it and not try to be I mean it's good to try to win you know and, and try your best but don't let it get frustrated that's when you start losing that's when you start tilting is when you get mad and when you get frustrated and and that's when you just do worse and worse and worse because your mindset's not in the game if you just go uh, whatever it's just, it's just a game I don't care if I lose 500 trophies or if I gain 500 trophies in the end if you keep playing you're gonna keep progressing you're gonna get better you're gonna be able to upgrade your cards which is gonna help you gain more trophies easier so um, and one thing I, I, I if you guys have seen my videos from the beginning I use a completely different P.E.K.K.A deck than my main deck now uh, I completely changed it to this deck I kept the uh, um, mini P.E.K.K.A Dark Prince um, because I've always I've always liked that that bridge span push I've been using that ever since I got Dark Prince back in the Royal uh, Royal uh, Arena but I was using Executioner Ice Wizard for the longest time and that got me to like 4,300 trophies. I did really good with it. Then I started finding a lot of Inferno Dragons, so I had to put the Electric Wizard in. 
so you know you can't just keep playing that you have to keep changing your deck to what you're fighting against if you're fighting against um, a, a lot of it could be hard because I'm a free to play player so I don't have a lot of choices um, but if you just keep upgrading like your main deck like if you like to use minor decks upgrade your minor upgrade like the key opponents to it but you, you could always switch it out you know with other cards um, so just keep keep that in mind and so let's go ahead and, and show you guys some replays um, <clears throat> Uh, let's do this one. This one was a really, really close match against this Golem player. And uh, as I, as I talk, as we watch these replays, I'll kind of talk about um, that why I do certain stuff so that you guys can learn how to play this deck. Because it's just you could copy a deck, but if you don't know how to play it, you're not going to win. You're not going to do very good. Uh, so you kind of have to know kind of the strategy behind on how to play the deck. So I see that he's going to do the pump, and I was pretty sure it's either three musketeers or golem. And so I just went hard with the, the bat around, but he was able to defend it with the lightning. So I go and I send the bats, and then I send the bandit, because I know he's extremely low on elixir. And now, this would have been really clutch if the bandit got there in time, and the electric wizard was able to reset the tower and stay alive. That tower would have been dead. Um, and so I go ahead and I send the minor. It's a late minor because it was a late in my cycle, but I want to be able to get that pump as you know he, he he used a lot of elixir defending, and so that pump that he used was kind of you know it wasn't really it didn't really help him it didn't give him any advantage because he wasn't able to save his elixir and get that golem down. And so and that's the thing when you see an aggressive pump, you just gotta go hard. And now n when he plays the second pump, you can't really go I didn't have anything in my hand to punish him with. And so I had to, you know, play it slow. I play the like uh, the electric was play the bats and do the bandit again. And then once I get the miner, I'm gonna throw the, mi the miner up there to the pump and try to get that down. But that's good because I was able to get that tower down, so I have a uh, tower advantage already. But he has an elixir advantage now, and he did a very good job defending that pump by playing the lumberjack exactly where I was um, playing the mine. I should have played the miner more in the back left, uh, but. And I completely missed the pull <laughs> distance. And he goes ahead and lightnings anyway, so I mean he he has he has the elixir advantage, but right now we're even and his pumps um, about halfway, and he's gonna be able to get another pump down, uh, which is gonna be scary because we got 10 seconds before double elixir, and he's gonna be able to do a big big push, and it's gonna be really hard to defend it. Um, <clears throat> So I go and play the P.E.K.K.A. and he plays the Golem at the bridge. And now it's the Devil Lick, so he's just going to spam. So we're just base racing at this time. Um, and it's it's going to get really close. <laughs> it's going to get extremely close. And it didn't matter if his Golem was 3 or 4, it, it wouldn't have made it any difference. Um, so I didn't win because of that. But he goes ahead and he plays the mine. I get the Zap down, I get the Bataram on the tower. And he's, he's doing a lot of that Lumberjack. Lumberjack does extremely well. And, but look at that, 131 HP left in my tower, and we were able to win. It was just, it was close. Uh, very exciting, though. Um, if he, if I would have tried to defend that push uh, on the left-hand side, he would have be, been able to melt my P.E.K.K.A., and he would have won the game. So going for that base race was the only, was the best move to do. <clears throat> and so, let's go ahead and show you this Lava Hound decks because I know that you guys are going to be fighting a lot of Lava Hound decks on ladder, especially if you're around 36, 3700 trophies. At least when I was there, I saw a lot of Lava Hound decks. Uh, so if you fight a Lava Hound deck, I want to make sure you guys know how to play against it. And so, the, and be able to make key decisions on when to base race and when to defend is very important. If you guys watched my previous videos, you can kind of see how I make those decisions and, and the timing of it. And the one thing, I'm actually really excited for the new football league. I, I was hoping it was going to be 1v1. A 2v2 draft, it's still going to be extremely fun. It's something completely different. Uh, that, that's, that's awesome when you have the arrows uh, right away. And now I have a free tarot. <clears throat> a tornado is not going to do much. Neither the guards. But I give them props for trying to use guards. Guards are really cool. You know, they're really cool. <clears throat> really un underused right now. Just because it was better cards for that, it looks like. And so this is going to be game. Uh, once you see it, you have that huge push and he doesn't have anything to defend it, you just send the miner back behind the king and get the win. 
And so the, the, the thing that you need to focus when you fight against Lava Hound decks, you do not want to put the P.E.K.K.A. in the same lane as the Lava Hound, because especially if they, if they have Inferno Dragon, a Mega Knight, um, your unit's not going to be able to support your P.E.K.K.A. because they're going to be attacking the, 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 the Lava Hound. The supporting units for the Lava Hound is going to be able to kill your P.E.K.K.A. and do a big counter push because they're, they're usually a better supporting units than what I have in this deck. Like Mega Man will kill the bats, Baby Dragon will kill the bats. Inferno Dragon will, um, you know, stop the battle ram. I mean, this is not, and when it comes to air, this deck doesn't have a much, it only has the, the Electric Wizard and Bats and Zap. And then you have the arrows from Minion Horde. You really want to save your arrows from Minion Horde. You know, you don't want to waste it. You want to use Zap against Goblin Gain. Even though it's not going to kill the Goblin Gain, you don't, if you know they have Goblin Gain and, and, and um, Minion Horde, you will always want to save your arrows for the Minion Horde. You know, if they have a princess, you want to use your bandit to kill the princess, or use your knight and wait for the princess to get to the bridge to kill it. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be it for the replay. So let's go ahead and do some live games just to make sure we have the right deck. So there's live games. If I lose the first one, I don't have enough gems to do another classic challenge. So hopefully we we win, and hopefully maybe we'll just showcase this uh, deck live very well. Um, so let's kind of wait and see. It's always good to see what your opponent does first, but you don't want to wait too long because you don't want to leak elixir. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just play the battle ram in the back and kind of draw out what he has in his deck. If he doesn't do anything, he's going to he's going to be losing a lot of elixir. And so we're going to do we're going to go ahead and zap, and then we're going to push on the opposite side. And we have the arrows ready in case. Oh, so he's using a mega man, so we have to get that pekka down. In order to stop that, he's gonna be able to get the jump on it, which sucks. And he has a hog, so the our tower might be uh, we might have overextended a little bit too much. He's gonna be yeah, he's gonna get the tower for sure, um, which sucks. But we're gonna be able to get, do a counter push and see what we, what we get with it. And so we're gonna play the electric wizard to stop that, and then we're gonna play the bats. We're not gonna play the bats. Yes, we're gonna play the bats, and then we're gonna get the zap. Alright, so the bat was able to save the P.E.K.K.A. We're going to get the bandit down and get, going to get Zap ready. So he's, he wasn't able to pull, which is good. And so we're going to get the Zap so it retargets on the bandit so our P.E.K.K.A. get the tower. Which is fine. Uh, we, we, I didn't really want to save the Zap. For the, I mean, we could have saved the Zap for the bats because we knew he had it in his rotation. But I really wanted to get the reset on the bandit so that the P.E.K.K.A. gets at least two shots. And as you can see, we're at one, one to one tower tree. Even when we had a very bad... When, when, when we overextended. As you saw when I did that left hand push, I was able to stop with the Mega Knight, and we overextended and we didn't have anything to stop the Mega Knight. So now we know exactly what he has. Uh, we're gonna have to waste the Electric Wizard. So we stop that, and then we're just gonna use the Miner, and then we're gonna play the Bats. So we're using a lot of Elixir right now, but it's okay, and we're gonna get the Zap down. Nope, we're not gonna get the Zap down. We're just gonna save Elixir. So we did decent chip. Uh, his hog did more, but I'm really excited. I hope I, I think hog is getting a nerf, uh, which which is nice. It's about time. It's just six uh, percent six percent HP nerf is gonna be it's gonna be nice. So we're just gonna go on the left hand side over here, and we're gonna play the bandits. And then we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna play the miner. We're gonna get the zap down. So I don't want it to melt. Is getting pretty close to melting the. One more hit, Pekka. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so I don't want to get too cocky because we haven't quite won yet. Let's get the pull with the Mega Knight. The Pe nice. We drew the Pekka. And that's going to be the victory, uh, even though we had a very. <laughs> we did very bad in the beginning. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how this deck works. Is it's very good at coming back. It has a very different ways. Just watch. I was like it twice in that match and it almost came back and and bit me. Um, so you have to watch. I like overextending a lot because I like to play very aggressive, um, but it can make you lose. Uh, luckily, we were able to pull that victory. As you can see, the, if I didn't have the Electric Wizard, we probably would have won because he had the Inferno Dragon, and Inferno Dragon just it just melts it just melts your Pekka if you don't have anything to to kill it. Like, I don't know what he was saying. Uh, we're just gonna play our bats, match his bats. We're gonna play the P.E.K.K.A. 
And now we're in a very good position. We're gonna wait for seven elixir to play minor um, electric because ooh, he has this pack too. Okay, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go in the same lane. We're gonna try to drag his Pekka to the minor, which isn't gonna happen because it's too late. And then we're just gonna wait. All right. So our Pekka's gonna cancel each other out. And then we're gonna play the bats. And we're gonna get. Ooh, he's like playing the same deck as us. Yeah, he's like he's playing the exact same deck. It looks like. Except for we have Batarang Minor. I don't think I, we, we haven't seen his whole deck yet, but hmm. Anyways, as you can see, we were able to get the Electric, our electric Wizard down faster than his, so his P.E.K.K.A. just got melted, and our Electric Wizard was full life, uh, able to stay alive. And then we're gonna we're just gonna play the Minor. Uh, we're gonna save the Elixir so that um, we could counter his P.E.K.K.A. with our P.E.K.K.A. And we're getting really really good chip damage. Um, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and do the arrows. Alright, so he did a pretty good job. Yeah, he, he just came... Uh, he, he, it's pretty much even now. Okay, so we're gonna play the bats so we can get rid of his bandits. <clears throat> okay, we have to get the minor arrows down, so that's what we're gonna. That's the plan. We're gonna put a lot of pressure on the opposite side. Now we're gonna get the Pekka down. We're gonna ignore the. We're gonna just ignore that. We're gonna get our electric wizard down, and then we're gonna go hard on the left hand side. Now we have two, we have two, uh, strong pushes. <clears throat> We're gonna get the miner down. Oh, this is close. I think we're gonna lose this. What? What? <laughs> I kills the electric wizard. Okay. So we just played. We we got. We started playing sloppy at the end. I would, it's whatever. All right. So we don't have enough gems to do another one. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just do a ladder game. Because I just want to do one more game. I don't even want to end on a lose. That's not that's not fun. It's never fun ending on a lose. All right, so let's go ahead and just play the bandits in the beginning. All right, so here's Max minions. Okay. Okay. So we got a full life P.E.K.K.A. Electric Wizard. Let's go ahead and just play in the mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, let's get Log ready because he has... Gosh, Max cards just destroy you. We're not going to get that, yeah. And, and he has Hog. So we're not gonna win this one either. Freaking Max Commons 2 OP. I don't know why Bandit can't one shot goblins. It's pathetic. Maybe because my bandit's only level two. Alright, this guy is cocky. You have max you have a max deck, dude. Like, it's sad you're this low.
Even with like log zap arrows, it's so hard to kill. It's because so, the cycle is just unreal. All right, we're gonna have to get Dark Prince down, and then we have to get Log down for the goblins. <laughs> and that kills my. Uh... All right, so that's what happens when you're cocky, dude. Like, get, get, get destroyed, dude. You thought you won the game? It's Dev Elix now. Now it's my time to just destroy you. Hopefully we'll be. Hopefully we're able to beat this guy. Yeah, there's no reason to play the electric wizard. Where's the log? Where's the log? Come on. Get the zap down. Come on. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna be in this guy. Thanks. 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 Freaking max out player. Losing to someone who doesn't have max out cards. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. We were able to come back and beat this kid with a max out deck. The ammunition at the beginning, we beat him at him at the end when we knew if you're gonna be him, at least be him when you know you're gonna win. <laughs> like he be in me halfway through the match. He had no clue how to stop my double looks of push. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's a good way to end the video. Um, that's kind of why I'm using log instead of what I, I don't even remember what I took out. I'm trying to think. And it doesn't matter. I, I took out a card to put log in because I started fighting a lot of people with max out commons, max out goblin, max out goblin gains, and it was just stopping my P.E.K.K.A. in its tracks. And so I just am using so much splash, and it's as you can see, it's really hard to beat decks with splash with uh with hordes and stuff just because they're so cheap and you're able to cycle through them and in the first two minutes it, my deck's really slow it's it's 3.6 so when you're fighting against a deck let's see what his hog deck was his hog deck is a 2.6 a 2.6 elixir deck just in the first two minutes out cycles you like crazy and look at that one two three four five five max out cards his fireball was level 11 my electric wizard did not have a chance on surviving if it got hit by it um and just and we still were able to beat him because we're just the better player um and that just imagine if i had a max out deck it wouldn't have been that hard like it would have been a lot easier. The bandit would have been able to one-shot goblins. It just it changes the, the the game when you have max out cards. But I mean, he, he's he's able to get to 4900 because he's a just a hog player using max out decks. And 4900 is good. You know, congratulations to him for being consistent and able to get to 4900 each time. That's only 200 higher than me without using max cards and using an OP hog. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, you probably notice I hate the hog rider. And I I, I was told it's getting a six percent health nerf which if that's true i'm excited but i don't know it might, it might just be a rumor it might not be real if you guys know just let me in the comments below if he's actually getting in there if we're going to know in the next update anyways that's going to be it for this video it's a little bit longer than usual because i was showing you guys on um, that minor deck that I, you know as you can see in that minor deck i did really good in those replays but I, when, when it came to live games i just i don't play minor a lot i don't play that that type of deck but it's still fun to try and that's why i do challenges i'm trying new decks so i could be better at it more a car variety of uh, 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 I can't talk right now so I could play more cards um, anyway guys I hope you guys have a good day and remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and thank you for all the support and hope you guys have a good week